Dave Chappelle had a funny story too about Kanye, and that's what got us into the Kanye topic. And then we started watching, you know, when Kanye went and met up with Donald Trump at the White House. And it was just, it's that's something that people will forever remember. Oh, you yeah. look back, it's history right there. Dude, he ran for president. Yeah, but that, I know, but what's crazy is that's history that he went to to meet up with Donald Trump. Like, it's just crazy because like, he's a very well known black. Yeah. Lil Wayne, rich, too. Yeah, Lil Wayne, too. Yeah. But Kanye made it clear on video what he's talking about, and he just was so open about it. But the only reason I'm saying this is because my brother had a point, and this is it. He said that. Kanye is such, and I agree 100%, Kanye is such a great musician musically all around mm-hmm. that he is, he, if he, when he gets older and dies or around that time, he isn't, right now he's basically known as like a John Lennon in our generation. As, that's what my brother said. He explains it a lot better than me. But okay. what he's saying is... I'd have like, to hear that. Okay, he explains it really good. But yeah. basically he's saying that Kanye musically will be known like that. Yeah, I agree. In with our that. generation, he will be known as like a John Lennon, as like mm. his songs. John Lennon yeah. is obviously yeah. very in depth and everything, but if Kanye yeah. got murdered too, everybody would look at him just the same. I think. Yeah. In I, in, a, in a certain way, because Kanye is sonically ahead of people. Mm. Musically, yeah. man, you can't touch him. You can't go yeah. against him. You can't. You can't. Well, well, that's why I see like that's what that's the only reason I was going to like disagree with putting them up with anybody is because there's never been anyone ever. Like Kanye, no, no, and like, but I get you get what I'm trying to yeah, say. My I brother, get what you're if saying. he was sitting here, he explained a lot better. He don't. It, I'm the one making it sound stupid. He's he's no, intelligent. No, <laughs> I, I, I get I get I get like I get exactly what you're saying, and dude, I'll agree 100 percent because I had this argument with people so much. Kanye is one of the greatest artists to ever live, ever, 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 ever and period at the end. I mean, nobody can touch him. This guy is whatever he releases. He's 10 years ahead of the game. Right. Every single time. Just like the Jesus album. It might not be hit for a lot of people, but watch and see. Yeah, exactly. People don't go back to that and be like, that's a classic because now there's a whole spiritual thing going on or God thing yeah. going on. It's just he's, he's ahead of people. In, yeah. Have in you seen life. the Sunday service thing he was doing? Yes, where he, he, he has uh, his it, own churches and stuff out yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, it runs chills down my body, man, whenever I'm – Whenever I watch some some of the Sunday service sermons that he does, but uh, and he's always been really religious. That's another thing too that a lot of people don't realize with Kanye. Like he's always been that way. Jesus walks. That yes. was like one of the first big songs on his very first album. He's blood always on blood on uh, blood on the leaves, on and the leaves. Uh, I mean the list goes on. But there's always been that background. Like, he's uh, always been a really soulful dude, using a lot of. Uh, uh, Christian samples and stuff like that. But man, this guy deserves everything that he has. He would lock himself inside his room and like make five beats a day. He wouldn't let himself out of his room unless he made like, it was like three or five beats a day for an entire summer. I got to get back on the grind of like writing songs mm-hmm. because honestly, I've only wrote like five since I've been back from Rhode Island, which has yeah. been like since November. I've only wrote maybe five songs, but the thing is, is I don't want to force nothing because loose screws. I made it in 15 minutes. Yeah. And look what's going on. Like it's it's a popping song, and Wait. and I feel like I don't need to. Only way I just have to hear the instrumentals and be there in the moment. Then I can create something. Give me five hours. I'll have something good. Yeah. Like I I can write stuff, but I, I get lost in the writing. I have to feel it. I yeah. have to be in the moment most of the time. So the only time I ever like to write music is when I'm in the studio about to record music. Yeah, I never force creativity. No, man. I don't either. I, I quit. I will, I'll, I'll be writing a sentence and can't, fi- and can't figure out a word. I'll give it like three or four minutes, try to figure out a word, or figure out a line that goes good. And if I lose thought of it, I just completely get off my phone and then get away from it and just keep listening to the, the instrumentals and stuff and then just come up with stuff. Like, hmm. I don't know. I, I, I just try to find, honest to God, man, I try to find something that, that is catchy f- for me to hear. Yeah. And then I think... How can I turn it in for what other people can uh, relate yeah. to it? I, I try to take what I what is true for me and make it catchy, if you know what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. And uh, it's, well, going back to what we were talking about earlier, like doing whatever it is that you want to do and staying true to yourself. Yeah. It's important, man. And that's one thing that Kanye's done, and a lot of people don't like that about him. But you got to respect it that the guy is at least going for it. He's the first rapper to run for president. Ever. 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 Okay. I, I got into uh, this debate 
the other day with one of my buddies, and we didn't end it, actually, because we couldn't really <laughs> figure it out. Who do you think's, if you had to say the greatest rapper of all time between these two, who is it? Lil Wayne or Kanye? Yeah. Kanye. I don't know, <clears throat> man. Kanye, easily. Lil Wayne, though, like... <sighs> he don't compare. You know why he don't compare? Because Lil Wayne can't make Runaway. Lil Wayne can't make a song like uh, uh, Gold Digger. He just can't. He can't. He can't. I could see Gold Digger, maybe, but Runaway, I get what you're saying there. No, Gold Digger, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But, but Runaway, Runaway nah. he can't make a song like that. He can't make a song like that famous song. He can't make a song like... Um, uh, <clears throat> one of my favorite Kanye songs. Oh, there's so many. I know that's why I'm getting lost. The, with the it. whole album Yeezus is such a great album. That is so underrated. You no, know, that's in my one. Of, that's one of the one albums that everybody, most people hated. Yeah, and underrated. I don't get it's it, man. Extremely underrated. You hear the sounds in it, and the, the the beats and the instrumentals is so different from yeah. like it's ahead of time. Yeah, and, and well, that was the same thing with 808s and Heartbreaks. I forget when that. Oh my released. god, that's the song I was talking about. Lil, Lil Wayne can't make Heartless. No, he can't. No. He, he. That's why, to me, when you when you do that, you can't compare that. It's a good observation. You, you cannot compare Data Waste and Heartbreaks to anything Lil Wayne's done. And, Carter well, Three, amazing. Lil Wayne, Carter Three. Yeah. But if you put that beside Data Waste and Heartbreaks, nine or, times out of ten, people's gonna pick Data Waste and Heartbreaks. Dude, beautiful dark twisted fantasy. There's a reason that it was like the that number one, one album. Of the last 25 like song, years. Just, Can we get much higher? Dun, uh, oh, oh, uh. it's so good. But one time uh, at a, at that tour, uh, and people like pointed Is this out. Is it tour on, or tour? Tour, tour, whatever. How do you I'm, really say I'm it, I'm Nate, but How do you really say though? It depends. Is it tour? I say tour. I'm redneck, buddy. Or is it tour? Son? It's supposed to be tour. <laughs> tour. But uh, one time Kanye was, uh, uh, he he was about to do Runaway. And he had, like, it was cool, man, because he had, like, the beat machine right there in front of him. And he would do every song before he performed to, like, make it. Yes, there in front you, of the crowd. he did it on it MTV was on the awards. He was out yeah. there and did it live. But, like, Lil Wayne can't do it. But, I love Lil Wayne, but, but he can't do that. But he's about to do Runaway, and he just does the one key, the ding, and yeah. the crowd goes wild. I got and, to, and I like, gotta pop my back, huh? But the the caption oh. though was uh, only Kanye can play one single note and make everybody go crazy. And it's true. I mean, what other song is that way? Because you know what it's coming. You know what song it is. And I always find and I always oh, find so, something wrong. Oh, so oh my God! Dude. Uh, and you know that guitar part? Like if you listen to the album uh, version, there's a guitar part that sounds like a guitar, but apparently like it was John Lennon's vo- I mean, John Legend's voice. And he just manipulated it. Dude's a genius. Everybody that worked on my beautiful and dark twisted fantasy, going back to the Dave Chappelle story that you were talking about, because I know what interview you're talking about. Yeah. Everybody had to have on a suit that worked on that album. All the way from the rappers, the musicians, the producers, everybody had a suit. And it was all recorded in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. The man's <laughs> it's God great, man. bless, dude. He's what a- about uh what about that only one with Paul McCartney? <sighs> That song, I've, that, I've literally cried to that song. It's it's so good. See, I, I lost my mom back in 2009. Mm-hmm. And, man, whenever I first heard that song, because it's about his mom, too. Yeah, and it, it's from her perspective, oh, talking about dude. his daughter and stuff. You know, And I think about my grandmother, things she used to tell me about, like, man. you know, it's a such little a girl song. and this and that. You, it wasn't on an album, either. It was just a soul song. It was never on an album. I know, that's why man, it's great. God, it's so beautiful. What was that one song that was never on an Album, uh, all day. You remember that? Uh, all day, uh, the Morgan Wallen word. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. The Morgan Wallen word. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, that dude's never gonna live that down. Yeah, you will. It'll go away. You think? Like everything else goes away. Yeah, you're right. It all goes away after. Uh, look at Epstein. If Epstein didn't stick, Morgan Wallen is going to. Epstein. Yeah, exactly. Epstein got swept under the rug. Nobody talks about it anymore. Yeah, I know that's crazy to yeah. to think that that's all right. Yeah, that's He's dead. But that, like, that's that's when I lost all hope. Because like that, Bill Clinton and all that. Oh, dude! To it, think that 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 that's all okay is insane to me. 